Today we're going to talk about mindset and like the f the five biggest main points when it comes to kind of dealing with chronic illness, in my case Crohn's disease, or in your case. Number one, the label of illness. It's just very negative. It breeds negativity. If you always think you're ill, like you're going to going to constantly live in a negative way and stuff isn't going to work out for you in your personal life and just in relationships sometimes or in work you're always going to it's just sometimes it won't click number two not taking personal action sometimes the doctor says take this medication don't worry about lifestyle food whatever you know just take the medication you can't do anything about it but sometimes it's obvious you're living a really bad lifestyle you're eating pizza eating burgers on the every every week drinking too much, not exercising, sleeping at the wrong time of the day. I mean, just doing stupid things. We all know deep down, like, some things we're doing aren't right. So just not taking personal action. Not taking personal action lets your disease or your illness get worse. And when it gets worse, then it kind of almost breeds more negativity and, like, bad energy in your life. Number three, negativity expresses itself in several ways, like overthinking, like about the illness it breeds anxiety which is almost kind of just being worried about like stuff you can't control and basically yeah hit it on the head stress and stressing about ill health is just a vicious cycle which kind of carry can carry on indefinitely which makes the illness worse and that's the thing with stress it's such a symptom that it's so hard to quantify that it can really make the condition worse and I've really, I've almost made myself, for instance, with my Crohn's, get such bad symptoms just through stressing like non-stop. I've managed to get myself into severe pains, inflammation and relapses, unfortunately. Stress is a vicious cycle, but if it's not dealt with and it's allowed to kind of be part of our everyday life, a part of our lifestyle, it's not going to help. Number four, making excuses. This is the most like important thing to be aware of to stop. Oh, you know, I'm not going to talk to that beautiful girl. You know, uh, I'm kind of a bit ill. Enough stuff's not going the best. There's, I got a lot of gas. I'm feeling tired. Like, I don't feel so energetic. Oh, or, oh, you know what? I'm going to maybe start looking for jobs or try to start my passion, my business tomorrow. Next year I'll be healthy. Next year I'll feel like a million dollars. No, there's never a next year. You only ever live from loads and loads of moments which are always now. And I just came to such a stage where I was always planning to do the exercise, to do it tomorrow, to eat like this. I knew kind of all the information. Just... I wasn't doing it. I was making too many excuses for myself. Number five. Sometimes you lose a bit of your humor and that's kind of a shame because there's a lot of kind of crap going on in your life kind of thing. And uh, you can maybe take stuff too seriously and forget about the essence of life, which is happiness, happiness, friends, which is leads into like relationships with your friends and enjoying what you do like every day in your moment following your passion working hard playing harder and for some people maybe that's just jamming completely straight up but for whatever it is for you you've got to remember that's what we're here for we're not here to suffer and be like oh I have Crohn's disease, you know, I have eczema, I got depression, you know, feel, you know, feel sorry for me because life's shit or, no, no, we're here to have a ball, enjoy every second and, and enjoy everything, I mean, no, isn't it? So thank you so much, please hit like, subscribe and a comment, please share to other people who you might know may benefit from this